I'm not going to waste your time with an intro, so let's get right into it. After watching this video, you'll know how to install any EMB for Fallout 4. The EMB I'm going to demonstrate with is Ghost EMB for NAC X. Go to nexusmods.com, sign in or create an account if you do not have one yet. It's free to create an account and you do not have to pay for any mods on this site. Use the search bar and look for Ghost ENB. In the mod page, scroll down. Feel free to glance over the installation instructions just to get some idea of what we're going to be doing. Also, note that this EMB was designed to be paired with one of these weather mods. Weather mods are great, they make storms and all sorts of lighting and shadows look much, much better. But we'll get back to that in just a second. For now, focus on the off-site requirements. Hover over EMB binaries and right-click. Select Open and New Tab. On this new tab, scroll down and select the latest version of the EMB series. EMB is a sort of script that runs on top of Fallout 4 that makes real-time changes to the way the game looks, which is why unoptimized EMBs can really tank your FPS. Anyways, after selecting the latest version, you'll be taken to another page. Scroll to the bottom of that page and select Download. Save this file to a new folder on your desktop. Go to that file and right-click. Look for Extract All and select it. Open the resulting file and look for d3d11.dll and decompiler underscore 46e.dll. Copy those two files and now go to Steam. Go to your library and then Fallout 4. Right click on the game and find Manage and then Browse Local Files. In the folder that pops up, paste the two files from earlier into this base folder for Fallout 4. And boom, you did it. Well, almost. But EMB series is technically now installed. Now we just have to add an EMB preset to take advantage of those scripts. Go back to Nexus Mods and on the Ghost EMB page under Nexus Requirements, hover over NAC X. And not the regular NAC. Now you can use the other weather mods, but I really like the way that NAC X looks. Right click on the link and choose Open and New Tab. On the new tab, scroll down and go to files. Okay, now hopefully you are using a mod manager because it just makes things so much easier. I personally use Vortex because I'm just used to it and I know how it all works, but a lot of people like Mod Organizer too. Either way, if you don't have a mod manager installed, you should check out this guide and then come back to this point. Install NAC X using the mod manager button. Enable the mod in your manager. Alright, perfect. Now go back to the Ghost ENB tab, go to files and download the version Ghost ENB for NAC X. Save the file to that special folder we made on the desktop. Okay, so this file is a .rar file, which will need a special extractor to extract these types of files. I personally like 7-zip because it's easy and free to use. To install this program, go to 7-zip.org and download this 64-bit version here at the top. Run that downloaded executable to install it. Once that's all installed, go back to the Ghost EMB RAR file. Right click on it, and if you're in Windows 11, you have to press the show more options, but then you'll hover over 7-zip and click on extract files dot dot dot. In the next menu that appears, press OK. Now in this new extracted folder, you're going to see some files. For this particular EMB, we're going to go into the Ghost EMB folder and copy everything in it. Next, use Steam or just navigate back to your game folder, the one we were in earlier. Uh, in the base game folder, paste those two files we copied. Then we're going to go back to the Ghost EMB folder and choose our quality setting. Some EMBs give you the option to adjust this and others are just all or nothing, so you may not have to do this part with other EMBs. From our quality, I'm just going to pick standard, copy the file and paste it into the EMB series folder inside of the Fallout 4 game directory. Now we're going to pick our depth of field preset. If you're not sure which to use, then you can check out the comparison pictures. If you don't like the background being blurry at all, then just use that low option. I'm going to go with normal, copy that file and place it into the EMB series folder. There's one more thing this particular EMB is asking us to do. Go into the Fallout 4 launcher by opening the game through Steam. Go to Options and then Advanced and turn off Ambient Occlusion. We're turning this option off because Ghost EMB has already accounted for that in the EMB itself. And that's pretty much it. Your game should be looking crazy good now. If you want to remove these cinematic bars here, then just press Enter plus Shift and turn off this option. Every EMB has the same installation process. Some may require additional mods to make them look exactly like the reference pictures. If you change your EMB preset, you will not have to go back and reinstall EMB series. So overall, the process is install EMB series, find an EMB preset, see if it requires a specific weather mod, then add the EMB preset files to your game folder, also possibly in the EMB series folder. If you get stuck or have problems, just let me know. You can comment down below or join the Discord in the description. Oh, and if you want more Fallout, then you have to watch this video next. 